three final. Go, it's on YouTube. Go watch it. Um, should we get into the next one? Let's let's get into the next one. Dowsy. Oh, sorry. I have to say one more thing. All right, say one say one more thing. <laughs> They're talking a little bit in chat about oh. some of those games. You remember that early bug as Oprah on Veranda, uh, yeah. KCM Hylet for it. He's saying he missed it. Hylet for early repositioning, which is exactly what we had a conversation about during the first match. Wow. Would high-level oh. players get you for that? Turns out in Diamond, they get you for everything. Yeah, don't play. I guess we've said it a oh, million geez. times. Don't Abolish don't play diamond. Fine. Don't yeah. play diamond. Yeah, don't don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> so our next game is Dowsy versus Plastics from the challenger level. Uh, let's go over the picks and the bans real quick. Like Dowsy goes ahead, starts out by banning Courtyard any four or seven. Plastics responds by banning Balcony any two or three. And actually, correct me if I'm wrong. This a uh, Plastics is undefeated going into this match, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, started off with three wins, tied Chef, and uh, beat Ink Nun and C9 the last two weeks. Two of the people, uh, bear, they were, those two were basically at the top of everyone's list uh, yeah. through the first four weeks as the, probably the two most likely winners in Challenger, and he beat them both seven to three. Yeah, wow. So this uh, pretty big Challenger implications for the uh, top folks. Uh, so Courtyard, Balcony, Band, uh, Dowsy, oh, I mixed these up. Uh, hold on. <laughs> It's because they're they're written backwards on my sheet. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> We're better. So Dowsy goes ahead and picks for his first map. Uh, library followed by Plastics uh, picking and doubling Ballroom, which I don't believe we've actually seen tonight. Um, and then finally, the last two picks. Oh, Dowsy, my, a man after my own heart, picking my favorite map in the game, High Rise, and then Plastics picking my other favorite map in the game, uh, Pop. Yeah. I mean, truly I was my just favorite. about to say, I was just about to say, every time we talk, you have a new favorite map. It's fine. Truly my favorite layout in this whole game is Pub any three of five, but somebody didn't put that in the competitive pool, <clears throat> Kaylee. Um, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we have Library, Ballroom, uh, High Rise, and Pub for our... Um, uh, this is pure counterplay from Dowsy. Uh, Dowsy uh, definitely puts thought into this kind of thing uh, and studies his opponent's picks and bans. Uh, and we have, we're just at the point now where Challenger has enough data for that to be meaningful. Uh, first couple weeks, you can't really draw strong conclusions, but now you kind of can, especially if someone's played a map a lot. If you look at Plastic's win rate on Courtyard, kind of shockingly high. We're talking like 80, 90% level sniper win rate, I think it was, and something like 50% on Spy, something like that. Uh, way too high. Right, so if you're Dowsy, you're thinking, you know what, it doesn't matter if I like Courtyard. Uh, this guy's just too good at it. Uh, gotta, you gotta force them out of their comfort zone. Yeah, absolutely. Indeed, so let us get into the very first game of this set. That's going to be Plastic starting out on the Spy, if I'm correct. Yep, and I am yeah. correct. All right, take it starting away, out on the Spy Mr. Topo. Library. Dowsy on the Sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, and Dowsy uh, has gotten a little less hype than some of the other players because his loss came in week three to Ink Nun uh, after going 2-0. and But his one, uh, the last three matches since against obviously increasingly difficult opponents, which is what happens in Swiss, so this is we've saw this before. Sometimes you lose to a good player early on, and people go, "Oh, you're not one of the you know crazy undefeated people anymore." Um, but it turns out they were a really good player, uh, yeah. and you win a lot after that. And next thing you know, you're near the top again, and that's kind of what's happened with Dowsy. Yeah, absolutely. Dowsy and Plastics, like everyone at the top of Challenger now, are forces to be reckoned with in a big way. Yeah, and it's been interesting seeing them interplay uh, because some of them we're realizing are more counterable than others. And we're at the point where that research has accumulated. So we are only really starting to see what these people are made of against each other now, about five or six weeks. 34% off of the first flirt. Picks up a fingerprint as well and a blue book. So, a little bit of a slow start, but that early fingerprint can pay dividends later on. Yeah, we always say this, you know, if you're going to get a fingerprint, you want to get it early in the game so you can next one plan around it. Uh, it's more Animation of a timing game. transfer all the way off camera. Not all even close. Yep, all the way. Oh, gee, I'm still stunned from that last set. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Okay. I it's apologize. A, no, it's a uh, it's a chill enough spy game that you can afford to uh, dwell on it a little bit. 
Green Test time ad coming out of plastics right smack in the sniper's face, but green tests are not always the easiest thing to see. Yeah. I can't believe it. This is uh, this feels like a balcony game almost right now. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to say. Yeah. Not the balcony games we saw tonight, mind you, but a normal balcony game, you know, with actual mortals playing it rather than spy party gods. 85% on the first flirt. Plastic's playing it really slow, but look at this. You have microfilm in pocket, you have seduce almost done, you're about to have partial inspects, you have one fingerprint. We've seen this before. Get a little bit of three or four missions done, and then they fall like dominoes at the end of the game. So you go from no missions to four in about 30 seconds. Yeah, there's the fingerprint done, there's two inspects. And boy, right now, doesn't this look like fingerprint, seduce, inspect, microfilm, swap, silent game? It's pretty looking. Plastics does get a highlight for the second for the statue, is it? But that's not something you'd put too much stock in yet. No, you wouldn't. That statue visit is super interesting, though. It makes me think that yeah, that's not going to be a banana bread. It's no banana bread in a tech swap, or not actually going to finish the microfilm. One of those two, because it doesn't make sense to do it otherwise. I don't think. Yeah. And the fingerprint is done. We are so low on time. Like, we have a ton of progress, but we only have one minute left on the clock. This should be the transfer microfilm getting finished up here. It's going to have to be. Test. Oh, and but Dowsy is on it. Yep, looking right at it. Just swung around right then. You know, sometimes you guess wrong on the timing is all. I don't really have a big problem with that game. There was a lot of mission progress that could have happened really quick. I think one more time add, and it would have been plenty uh, but just sometimes, you know, that's the risk with the animation transfer is you have to do it twice. And yeah. so I mentioned you have a one in three chance. That's not totally accurate, but let's say you have a one in three chance because a sniper sees a third of the map at, the t at a time. Uh, one in three chance of doing something twice, suddenly your odds aren't so great. This is very true. All right. Well, Dowsy on the spy side now, Plastics on the sniper in game number two. In three... Two, one, playing it. Yeah, and so Trapas, you probably don't feel too bad about that. You got away with a lot. You made a lot of progress, and uh, he ding. But you got to. You don't like that he dinged on the green tech. Yeah. Unfortunately, That's... it just happened right in front of the laser. But that that was a really solid spy game, I think. I mean, I've been looking right at green tests sometimes for microfilm and not seen them. You know, it can be tough depending on the character too. Uh, so just certainly good attention there. Very attentive by Dowsy to catch the green test. Slow start from Dowsy here, wanted the seduction target, but she turned around at a weird moment. Now we're at the back windows, might be able to get a time ad here to make up for the slow start, but nope, just stepping into blue bookcase to start making some progress here. Animation transfer coming out of Dowsy here, white test to start off the festivities. Doesn't get caught on it. Book gets marked right before it sends away. Dowsy might think he's highlighted because of that. Oh! Oh, the green purloin! Coming out of the bookcase and stepping away, that's huge! I don't think that was seen at all. That's going to be brutal at this point. Yeah! So honestly, the best case scenario for Plastics right now is ignoring the purloin and just moving on as if he didn't catch anything. Uh, because the only thing that's going to come out of it right now is a wrong shot. That was a stunning little move from Dowsy. Purloin has come off. And in the red. Con fake contact has come off. Uh, that could be oh, no. position for a bug there, but it didn't wind up happening. Oh, boy. Several, like several low lights left on the table, I think, in the post purloin confusion. Yeah, I think Plastics is trying to figure out what's going on with this purloin, and it's just not happening. Screwed up the reaction on the contact a little bit. Yep, one low light on library, that is absolutely brutal. Oh and, boy. And I gotta be honest, if you're Dowsy, uh, you don't need to do anything. Between the getting so few low lights off that, some general party activity, having no idea who did the purloin, how does Plastics not shoot? 
second flirt it's, comes off on a green test up to 85 percent but i think you're right it's probably not yeah. going to matter and i don't just mean this in the sense that sometimes you see a hardtail showing and you bb and that's enough that a uh, good sniper is at the point now where they can still hold that shot but in this case it's no idea who did the purloin uh not many low lights from the banana bread when you acute when you accumulate those two things together i think at that point plastics understands i'm behind which means yeah. if i missed that i could have missed other things too Oh, oh swung away just, swings. just yeah. as it happened. That, that's painful. The beginning of the arm animation was covered by Papa Danger, and then Plastique just swung over right as it finished. Oof. Bad luck. So, so Dowsy swings right over as the green microfilm is happening. Plastique sweeps right away as the other microfilm is happening, the white one. Uh, Fire that's, out of back windows. Yeah, that's what and it comes down to. The shot comes off. It's not a good shot. Dowsy's up 2-0, and oh, but both of those games could have easily gone in the other direction. They could have, yeah, but that was just a devastating purloin. Uh, it's yeah. not, it, now, this is library, five missions. You don't have to shoot. If you see a purloin and you've heard a banana bread on, let's say, Courtyard, you better be pretty darn sure you know who it is not to fire. But uh, in library, you can still hold that shot quite a bit. You're still waiting to see something else. So the main thing is not to totally miss it, like 100%. And in this case, I think it was like close to 100%. No idea who did it. Yeah, uh, Plastic's actually missed both, like, uh, the arms, uh, Plastic's kind of panned away from the arm swing on the microfilm for both uh, yep. animations, which a little unfortunate. All right. But not, not uh, anything you can't overcome. Uh, so 2-0. On to the next one, Plastic's back on the spy side, Dowsy on the sniper in three. Two, one, playing it. And hardly surprising, uh, Dowsy does have a strong record this year on Library. Probably why he picked it. Super early purloin, white test this time around. Dowsy looks like he saw it. Yep. Tap hits uh, Plastics with the highlight there. Certainly not the start you're looking for. It was so, it's interesting. So early green purloins can be devastating, right? Uh, but here's the problem with early whites. If they're too quick, you, no one else could have done it. <laughs> I mean, that you can't even, if you happens at like three, like now, like around 320, at least you can talk yourself into thinking, well, there could have been several rejects. I'm not really positive. But that was so quick that you either missed one quick reject or you just got them. Yeah. Oh, that is literally the worst possible flirt in the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. We found it, the elusive 17% flirt. That's what happens when you get a pickup line off a popsicle stick or something. <laughs> yep, you're not wrong. But it's something, at least. We are in position to get a pretty easy crash bug on the way out here if Dowsy swings away. Dowsy is Dowsy swinging away. away. He's also swinging away only long enough. Yeah, he saw the the rigid uh, body there as he walked. Um, but yeah, there's still I no reason so. to shoot. There's still no reason to shoot. Dowsy is swinging away just long enough to convince the spy that he's swinging away. Uh, and I like Plastic's play there. Uh, tried to catch Dowsy in a pattern and preempt the swing away as he steps away because of the laser lag. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Yes, yeah, I got to guess it a little bit. And it was actually an excellent bug. If he weren't it being was. stared down on library, I think it would be fine. Stepping into books for another flirtation here. Green test on this one brings us up to 62%. So we are, in fact, going to need yet another green for a three flirt. Now, what's funny is that if you're Plastics, you think, maybe I got away with that purloin, actually, because I just bugged and I didn't get shot. But I think it's a false sense of security. I would agree. Dowsy definitely in the driver's seat here. It's not over yet, to be sure, but... Plastics is well behind. It just feels so much different looking at this from the sniper side in particular. The camera movement. I, I, I'm, it's moving the way I would move if I thought it were him. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you can tell just from the camera movement, this is what I would do if I were trying to keep someone in my frame of view a lot without looking like I was doing it. It just looks so much like that right now. Doesn't hit the green test. It's 96% on the flirt. Minute and 10 left on the clock and only two completions. There's no way. There's yeah, no there's way. no way. No, I would well, the AI has to do something crazy, uh, or he just times out. I guess I'd be kind of impressed by his commitment to it there. I, I don't see how he wins this game. I think Dowsy's waiting for him. He's 
It's a it's it's a cat playing with a mouse before he kills him. Yeah. No disrespect to Plastiques, you know, he's a, he's a tremendous player, we already know, but as Spy, sometimes you're in that vulnerable position where you're just being toyed with. Yeah. Dowsy knows he doesn't have to shoot yet, and finishes up the flirt, sure, but steps away in the middle of a talk animation Here we to go. go to center statues. Yeah, yep. just shoot him. There we yeah. go. And we're done. So here, here's how here's how sure he was he wasn't done. Didn't even bother shooting for the bug. Can't be done. Let's just wait. Yeah. That's just the purest expression, I think, of how sure he was. All right. Last game of library here. Dowsy up three to nothing as Plastic steps into the sniper side of things in three, two, one, playing it. Dowsy officially happy up 3 nothing that he picked library. Uh, he has won his picked map and a chance to run up the score. Starting things off with 51% flirt at the green bookcases. <laughs> Actually pulls out the blue book. Might try for some. I think. I think. I think that was a pull out after three cycles. Maybe a green book, rather. Yeah, a lot of people going to books early too. Yeah. Either way, that's the kind of information that most new players don't know. Haven't really internalized how that you can't take a book out after three cycles yet. Second flirt comes off. This one was a white 85%. <laughs> Three minutes left to play. Dowsy with most of a flirt. Green book in hand, getting ready to put it back in either blue or yellow, probably. That's underrated. Uh, it's If you have most of the flirt done like that, the mission progress is actually usually a lot better than it seems. Pretty much the only, one of the few things you can't do quickly on library. Yeah. And really idling here. Um, so much so that it's looking pretty deliberate to me. Uh, the slow play here. Dowsy is a very aggressive spy, um, kind of deducing the kind of the same kind of thing Kaylee has that if you can play well enough as sniper, uh, you can be very aggressive as spy, and it'll usually work out. In this case, clearly playing against his natural tendency, and I think banking on a miss shot. Dowsy does a huge amount of research on his opponents, and I know this was a map a matchup he'd been looking at for some time now. Uh, I remember Dowsy saying that plastics takes a lot of shots. Yeah. So Dowsy feels like if he can slow play, somebody's going to die and it's not going to be him. Yeah, and it's one of those rare situations where what you normally do lines up really well with what your opponent normally does. Not only do you have a sniper who takes a lot of shots, but you have a spy in Dowsy who gets a lot done. So if you can assume your, your opponent is going to know that about you, they're going to give you credit for mission completion uh, late in the game if they hear, say, a banana bread with a minute 20 on library, something like that. That was an aborted time, man. Yeah. Uh, That's weird. Seems to have gotten away with it. Yep, seems like he got away with it indeed. Uh, now stepping out towards the double agent. May as well actually finish a mission while you're trying to induce a shot. Yeah, I think that's the case. And this is something you have to do. You mentioned earlier, uh, looking forward to That's the thing about Swiss, too. When a couple of you are near the top and you haven't played yet, you know that matchup is coming. And there's that shot we were talking about. Dowsy picks up game number three. And what's four, sorry, game number yeah. four. What's interesting is obviously didn't see anything too dispositive. Uh, no purloins showing, no swap showing. Uh, must be crediting quite a bit. You almost feel like it's just, I'm convinced this person's going to finish and someone's got to finish soon. Uh, I swear to God, I didn't look at this game before when I said a banana bread with a minute 20 might induce a shot. I was only at five seconds off. Uh, that just feels like the standard time it would happen, uh, and it almost did. Yeah. All right. Well, that is a 4-0 sweep for Dowsy on the library, stepping into 
The next map is going to be Ballroom. Any four of eight. Plastic starting things out on the spy side. Dowsy on the sniper. In three, two, one, playing it. I like the meta level uh, story there. Do a lot of research on your opponent. Read up a lot. Uh, and uh, then you beat them for nothing on library places. Yeah. And by the way, uh, so for the third time tonight now, uh, I mentioned it offhandedly at the beginning, but it keeps coming up. Uh, definitely highlight for that redirected windows at the beginning on the take control. Plastic starting things off this round the way you do not want to. Not only is he 4-0 down, but 31% on the first flirt. This means he is going to have to green one of his next two flirts, or he's going to have to do a fourth. And he's already got a highlight. That's the really tough part, I think. This, yeah, this, this just hurts. And how do you come back from it? The only thing is, that might just be a little... Oh! oh wow. What? Failed bug. Failed bug. Yep. And that, that just shows you how... Action. Yeah, how closely Dowsy was watching there. Uh, I don't know if we have time briefly to look at that redirect. I really think this is underrated. It, there's a distinct look to this stuff. Sometimes you just get time of chaos stuff, right? And you can't react to it too much. I wouldn't react too much to most things early in the game. But there is this little thing where a spy gets dumped somewhere they don't want to be, just as they take, just as they take control and they redirect, and it looks different. The whole body rotates. Look at this, right there. Yeah. The one at Windows, it was so obvious. It's almost dead center at Windows. Just a strong highlight noticing for that. Yeah, you're not here, wrong. Here's why you could notice it. Normally, you wouldn't notice it, because what are you doing? You're memorizing statues and quick crash bug on the Amber, right? It happened right next to the Ambassador. Yeah. No reason not to see it there. Dowsy up 5-0, stepping into the spy side of Ballroom, any four of eight. Plastics on the sniper desperately needs to start finding some sort of comeback. In three, two, one, playing it. Yeah, definitely in a bad position here. Uh, you could play exceptionally well and still at this point. That's the problem with being down this much. Starting things off with a 51% flirt at the blue bookcase. Yeah, not bad. Uh, depends on how likely you are to get paired there. I think uh, definitely worth the risk here, and uh, knowing that, it, that you're going to hit 51%, definitely worth it, yeah. Grabs the blue microfilm from the book, so we are going for the animation transfer here. Was marginally visible, but sniper moving around a lot, clearly monitoring the ambassador, pillar helped obscure it. As well as the twin being right next to us there. That was, we had a lot of cover then for that transfer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just in an innocent conversation now, chatting with Carlos. <laughs> Reasonable amount of progress early on. Yeah, not great, but that microphone's pretty devastating. You know, you get to a center statue visit. Uh, visit and if you maybe two flirt for ex uh, example, suddenly you're in a really good position. Very slow play from Dowsy. Like I said, it. yeah, he uh, he knows that Plastics likes to take shots, and I think when he feels like he's behind, he's going to be more likely to take shots rather than less. Dowsy stepping into a window flirt here brings it up to 85%. No completions yet with under two minutes to play, but he's got time. Yeah, we're seeing a clear continuation of the strategy we saw in Library, and these maps are conducive to it. On Library, much easier to think, you know, I might have missed a couple things, and on Ballroom, too, certainly. Banana split to the green bookcase. This is going to be a quick putback of the microfilm here as Plastics is getting... Look at that! The entire animation behind the pillar. That's brutal. I think the very end was a little... There's a little head tilt to the left at the very end, but really not much. You'd have to be watching. You have to already be suspicious, and there's nothing to Bug be suspicious on the way about. out? Nope. Does he want to finish? No, I, I think you got your hard tail done on balcony. You're a center statue and a flirt away, and you, there's no reason to think you're a big suspect. Yeah, I agree. But if you go to center statues now in the last minute... Little rough, and there we talk about this all the time. If the sniper thinks they're behind, they take that Hail Mary shot. It's funny, the, the, the plan to finish missions right here is contrary to the plan to get plastic to shoot the wrong person because the wrong person's you if you go to center statues right now. Yeah, this is very true. Bug going into center statues. What? 
I, I the funny thing is, I think it was just a reflex because obviously there's no reason to do both those things. Either one makes sense by themselves. But it's not like you're playing a silent game and skipping something now. Oh, I see. Oh, one cycles it. Yes. That's, that's the thing. He was not planning to bug, but once he got it, the least he can do. Well, geez. Okay. Yeah. yeah just do the flirt. Good presence of mind. Uh, it did not make any sense there because you didn't have a chance at a silent game because you've already done the banana bread. Just one cycles it instead. Beautiful, beautiful finish from Dowsy there. So what I love about this, we talk a lot about how, you know, you have to make these high-level clans and try to execute them, and that's a big part of the game, but you also have to react to the dynamism of the party and take what it gives you and be opportunistic. Dowsy did both. He had a perfectly good game plan, uh, got a bug on the way, and then adjusted his meta level plan to account for that because it didn't make sense. That's really good. That was a nice bug, too. It was, and there's a lot of occlusion back there. I think a somewhat lesser spy would have just done their inspects and let that 85% seduce hang there. And maybe, probably wouldn't have gotten shot anyway. Probably wouldn't have gotten shot anyway. But would have been susceptible to that Hail Mary shot. Yeah. So, here's where we find ourselves. Dowsy up six to nothing over plastics on the sniper side of ballroom. Yeah, I was just about Jesus. to say, uh, I was about to say, uh, if anyone had uh, either of these players or any of the top players in Challenger going up, even six nothing on each other, uh, raise your hand. No, 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 you're lying if your hand is up. There's no way you thought that, uh, particularly with these two. Plastiques before this week, you would have said maybe uh, the best player possibly in Challenger. No way they go down uh, this big, even to someone like Dowsy, yet here we are. Yeah, this, is, this has been a pretty crazy set. Let's see... Let's see if Plastics is able to get something going on the other side of things. In three, two, one, playing it. And it's all upside now. If you're Dowsy, you have so many chances. You can you can go take a nap during some of these games and maybe still win. Although I wouldn't recommend it. I would not I recommend plastics. it. And to be fair, if you've ever played an SCL at any level, you know sleeping for pretty much any point in the next 12 hours is almost impossible. I mean, you're not wrong. It's pretty tough. Especially if you're in Diamond. Yes. <laughs> God, abolish Diamond, people, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, man. First flirt for Plastics, netting him 33%, which is still enough to hang around for the timer flirt if that's what he wants to do, but... I think the word we're looking for is fine. It's it's fine. Yeah. It's not good. It's not bad. It's fine. It's not a green test, but it certainly works. <laughs> we'll take it. On the other hand, you're waiting around for this timer flirt. Uh, you re now if they lose, now if they leave, you're in trouble all of a sudden. Yeah. You're bank out uh, this a little bit. Hopefully, that doesn't happen, and we can actually get this flirt off. 45 seconds is a long time to wait, snuggled up to your seduction target like this. There's the cooldown, there's the flirt, 66%, uh, and now we gotta move. A little less fine, a little, little less fine. And by the way, if uh, if anyone's wondering why Tobos, because we can't help but spy sometimes. That's the general posture in any game, is you kind of want to see the spy win. Yeah. Basically, I go into literally every cast just rooting for whoever the spy is. <laughs> it's usually more exciting that way, yeah. So Plastic's at 66% on the flirt, still just hanging out. I think very well might be committed to not finishing here. Green Purloin from the back of the conversation. This is a great way to induce a shot if Irish rejects. Irish, please. Nope, Irish is taking it. Uh, cast member's taking it, which means that if Dowsy is on it at all... Hasn't seen it yet. Now has. There it is. And let's see how narrowed down this is. There's one. There. No, okay, not sure. Not sure at all. But, remember, there's no banana bread. Um, some of the suspects maybe haven't even completed their inspects yet. Gotta wait I for some don't kind of like going to center statues here. I think you've got to hang out get a contact, get a fake contact from an innocent conversation and induce a shot. I think that's the way you win this game is plastics. Yeah, I agree. I think a purloin there, unless he's all really on it. That's three Ooh. cycles. That's three cycles. It's a green swap, but he's been there too long. 
That's not good. Dowsy will notice that. Uh, might already suspect him for the purloin, although it doesn't seem like it in this case. He might have actually had a pretty good one there. Still no banana bread, though. <laughs> and a low light is going to swap. This has been br a rough oh. game for Plastics. Ooh, There's the Amba blocks it. Coming off. Amba blocks it. He's got the flip done, but there's the shot. And Dowsy goes seven to nil over Plastics. My if Hummus would God. kindly, kindly go back there to watch that swap, the Amba, it literally, you remember the hat thing a few weeks ago? Oh, I do, yeah. <laughs> the purloin. And so the, there's, a, there's a guest list one second, and then a hat does a, like a hat wipe, like an effect on a video production thing, where uh, there's like a wipe across the screen. Disturbing. Yeah, the hat wipe uh, goes across, and then there's no purloin. That's basically what happened with the ambassador in the swap. Yeah, and and oddly, just... yeah, and oddly enough, uh, Tex was a little bit in the way as well. Oh, he's always in. He's always somewhere. in the way. Um, so what, what's interesting about that then is I don't know if it would have made a difference or not, but if Morgan were at least not a low light, you'd at least have to wonder if that were white or green. Right. Yeah. Oof. That's tremendous. What, what would you say? Would you say that Dowsy had a doozy of a game? Oh, he did. He did have it. Okay. All right. Fine. So, I don't know, <laughs> man. I think Kaylee and KCM had a doozy of a game. That's true. We've had yeah. some good cast tonight. Also, it's I a double doozy, everybody. Yeah. It's a double it's a, doozy. It's a, it's a double doozy with Dowsy. It's, it's a, a double doozy. Do okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone right. doozy do. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> On to the actual standings. Dowsy uh, started off two and one uh, and has won four straight. And let me remind you again that in Swiss, the games get harder, generally speaking, as you go. So these four wins, definitely more impressive than the earlier ones, more important than that loss to Ink Nun, who we know now is also one of the best players in Challenger. Dowsy uh, wins seven and zero oh against strong competition and is now tied uh, for the top at Challenger with 12 points, six and one. Man, if Dowsy releases a program to study uh, his opponents, they can be yep. his dowsing rods. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we, we, need to, we need to end this cast. Yeah, yeah we do. Plastics, that is <laughs> Plastic's first loss of the year. He did have a tie to Chef uh, a while ago, uh, but had beaten Nick Nunn in C973 the last two weeks. <laughs> this is a. This is a really uh, good win for Dowsy. It's a tough loss for Plastiques, although I don't think we've seen the last of either of them. But I mentioned a couple weeks ago that we couldn't draw conclusions from Challenger just yet. They were going to start playing each other. And specifically, we were going to see what happened when they had more data on each other. Who adjusts their game the best and the strongest? Uh, so we're getting a better sense of who the real Challengers and Challenger are right now. And we see that right now Dowsy is up there with the best. Indeed. And actually, yeah. speaking of challenge... Okay, so I think it's time to sign things out now, unless, Tobo, you had anything else you wanted to mention about that match? No, I'm good. All right, sweet. So uh, speaking of Challenger, um, tonight at about midnight Pacific time, I will be posting the uh, updated sta or the uh, new matches for the uh, week eight, um, assuming I get all the data I need to. So definitely by tomorrow morning uh, Pacific time. Um, Tobo, Warning Track have been my casters as per usual. Uh, either of you want to say anything, plug some stuff, whatever, whatever? Uh, yeah, I will plug spypartyfans.com, the world's only spy party fan website. Uh, we have analysis and editorials and replays and streams and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Um, and we also link to the tremendous SCL manager created by our host tonight, Lieutenant Hummus, which Aww. is so, so good. It makes our job so much easier. And also follows on Twitter, Spy Party Fans. We have dumb memes also, which you are definitely going to want. They are not dumb. The memes are actually pretty, pretty damn good. They quality. are. They are but quality. They're also, but they're also dumb. They're just like the puns, really. So if you like those hey, puns, hey, you hey, like our dumb hey, memes. Hey, the puns are good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Tobo, you got anything you want to say? Uh... Not really. All I right. just want to add on what what Warning Track was saying. Spy Party Fans is a great website. Occasionally, if you head to the uh, Spy Party Fans Twitch channel, you will see Warning Track himself streaming there as well. Sometimes. I'll try to do it more, y'all. Awesome. So the game is Spy Party, available for $25 USD from Steam or uh, spyparty.com. 
Um, yeah, this has been the SCL Week 7 Sunday Afternoon Cast. I've been your host, Lieutenant Hummus. You can follow me uh, on Twitter at LT Hummus uh, for more stupid puns and commentary and uh, the occasional stream. <laughs> um, and with that, uh, thank you all for watching. On behalf of Tobo and Warning Track, thank you all, and we will see you next week. <laughs>